we're now going to do something a little bit different. We've done lots of mini games. We're now going to play something and do a whole story. You're going to fucking love it. It's going to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Hopefully in that order. All I need from you is a title. You can throw out some words, we'll put them together, or you can give me a whole new title for this wonderful story. What's it going to be? First murder. First murder. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Any more? Bus. Bus! <laughs> Bus! <laughs> I'm seeing an exclamation mark on the inside. That's nice. Bus! Any more? Last murder. Last murder! I like that you've, you've, you've put things either side of a clear winner, which is bus. We're going to go with bus. <laughs> no idea how this is going to go, but you're going to give them another huge round of applause to me! <laughs> Sex book. <laughs> it's called the sex book. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, it's been too much of a It's quite a coincidence. <laughs> 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 See, back in the 60s, I, uh, I wrote the sex book. <laughs> As in, you wrote. That's me, Arthur Big Dick. <laughs> You're Arthur Big Dick. That's right. I've read all the books. I just got like Arthur B. D. now. Yeah. <laughs> I've read all my books. I've read all your books. Name five of them. Uh, uh, <laughs> Big Dick, one, two, three, four, and five. Ah. <laughs> my, my magnum opus. <laughs> Honestly, I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm being a boy. I'm just going to find out here, but I, I just. You're a girl. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> This, this is much creepier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I just, this, all I wanted to say is that I just feel like your writing, it just really gets to the heart of, of the sexual experience. Yes. And, 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 and the tensions within that. So much tension. <laughs> I just think it was really radical what you were doing back then. Oh, people didn't like it. Really? Yeah. What Communists happened? didn't like it. <laughs> Fascists didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh. <laughs> oh, I was having a flashback. What, what were you seeing? Oh, I was just seeing angry fascists and communists. <laughs> you see, I try and organize these sex positive events, and you know, the communists would come in going, Oh, you're not sharing your dick evenly. <laughs> the fascists would come in and going, We're going to tell you how to use that dick. Wow. <laughs> I had to flee the country. Where did you go? See. <laughs> <laughs> the last... <laughs> the last... No, no, it's been the last 60 years in international waters. <laughs> well, I didn't know I could come back to dry land, literally. Just got on this bus from the port. <laughs> and what a coincidence, a young lady is reading my sex book. <laughs> Times have changed. Your, your stories are, are incredible, and I, and I thank you. I, are you getting off? Where are you getting off? Well, turn to page seven. <laughs> <laughs> you see it now, right there, the laughter and the seriousness. It was the bad. It's attention, it's attention, 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 attention. How old are you? <laughs> how old? <how>, okay. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, I'm actually. I'm getting off at the next stop, but if you ever, <laughs> if you ever wanted to get a coffee, I'd love to just because I'm, I'm actually a, I'm actually a writer myself. Oh really? Yeah. What have you written? Uh, big vagina one two. <laughs> but I haven't, but I haven't released any yet because I'm too afraid. I'm too afraid of showing my work is morally judged. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Sounds like some really highbrow work. <laughs> You're just my biggest inspiration. I, I have to get up here, but 
Na meio do meio de novo. Vou pôr o Gil nele. Uh, put your mind on. Vai lá. Off the BD. Off the BD. Wow. I'm... Wow.
where would I find Arthur B.D. in this world? Why are you asking us? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe there's a clue in the book. He's just come back to land from 60 years, maybe you know. He's got some old hangouts still in London. Well, that would be convenient to the plot. <laughs> <laughs> Move it along to the <laughs> I don't know how I could ever... Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> is it convenient? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a bit of it underlined, even highlighted. Right, so you're saying he did you highlight it? Because if you did, it probably won't help. No, I think so it's underlined, and then someone's highlighted it as well. well. It must have been when I was sat there and I looked out the window temporarily. <laughs> he so must have he done reached, that then. He reached over. So you had that book. I had that book. You had the book during the conversation. Well, I mean, I had, we had like yeah. pen in one hand, yeah. highlighter in the other, and just <laughs> quick as a flash. <laughs> and he's come back from the sea, but he was ready for the old girls. <laughs> well, this sounds perfectly cool. <laughs> The torch up. There you go. <laughs> Boy, Attention. You're good. You're, good. You're, doing, you're learning. The smolder is there. I. I mean, I, how could you entrust it to me? You haven't even read any of my work yet. Chemistry. <laughs> when I was sat next to you on the bus, I could have sat next to anyone. I could have sat next to any Johnny B. Walker or Jack Daniels. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> but I sat next to you. I think it was for a reason. I think it was fate. You need to continue the work of the sex book. <laughs> and I can help you. I just, I can't figure out the ending to Big Vagina 3. <laughs> All sex books end the same way. <laughs> Sticky and satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> If I write this, then you have to stay here. You can't go off again back to sea. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't planning on going back. And communists and fascists don't have as much control as they used to. You know, I'm you looking forward. I'm having a great time. Madame Two Swords is still open. <laughs> Who goes there? I always there's a massive. Oh. oh. No, I always. I always wanted a daughter. <laughs> Pass my sex secrets on to <laughs> I'm gonna write it, and it's gonna be amazing. And I'll help you. Okay. If my name isn't Arthur Big Dick. <laughs> Let's fucking do it! Let's just do it. <laughs> you thought you could leave, Mr. Big Dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you're leaning out of a bridge. And they get here! <laughs> With an and communist! That's right. We saw the little meaning you had, and we have no truck with it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see! Oh! Now you've got two! I don't want to, I have everything I need. And now, with you in my power, no one but my publishing house will ever Right about sexual secrets again. Only the communists will be sexy. Only we will breed. And we will breed in perfectly equal fashion. <laughs> you can look, I'm not wearing none of it. Who are you? I am everything you fear. I am Magnus Opus. Magnus Opus? Yeah. Wait a minute, I remember you from the 60s. 
Oh, do you? You were just a young, lowly intern at my sex publication house. <laughs> well, things have changed. I've taken over for publishing house now. And I will leave you trapped here for all eternity, Mr. Big Dick, inside this vagina cage. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it's staying sealed. Even you could open it. <laughs> <laughs> No, not up there. <laughs> no, what you're thinking about me? Too easy. You can rob him here, Arthur, and no one will ever release a sexy book again. I, d I can't remember if this is soundproof. Are you hearing me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I screw it. He gets the idea. And then she. And then she. Satisfied. <laughs> and then it happened. The greatest feeling of pleasure coursing through her body. She writhed. Just her body. <laughs> her body and her soul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the end. Oh my gosh, I did it. I wrote it. This Good is job, Penelope. And now it's going to be. <laughs> Penelope. Hold on a minute. Penelope. Here you are. There's a message. I'm trapped in the vagina. There's a message I can hear coming through. Because the keys are moving. It says, Hello. I'm trapped. I'm trapped inside of a vagina. Can you help? How is he possibly doing this? He doesn't have a marker pen. Oh. He says he's just, it's a ghost. <laughs> he says it's a ghost and it's convenient. I'm using my astral penetration. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. So you're here to cause trouble for me and my publisher here. Oh, why am I feeling that on my nipples? <laughs> You'll feel everything I do to myself. <laughs> you must challenge him. <laughs> to a battle of seduction. You can't do it. Only one of you may so It's like Highlander rules. <laughs> there can be only one. Only one. I'm, I miss the sea. Are you scared? <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> no! Use the tension. Feel that. It's going to overpower you. It's too much for anybody to take. I'm too erotic for any human being. <laughs> Big vagina fool. <laughs> <laughs> 